Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Ken Grossman. Thank you and welcome to the Valder BB Show today. Well, thanks for having me. Well, we want our audience to know a little bit about what's going on. Ken, I know that in the recent California fires, they were the most destructive in history. Yes, it's been uh, really a tragic situation for our community. Can you talk about that impact on it so that it can be real? You know, like it's not happening in some other place on the planet that we don't know about, because this is such a part of our economy, our environment. Yeah, so the uh, the fire ravaged through the town of Paradise and the other foothill communities right above Chico, and it moved so quickly. Uh, at one point, they were saying it was burning a football field a second. Um, so it happened just so so quickly that people were barely able to get out, uh, and, and quite a few people did lose their lives. Uh, but it destroyed the t community of Paradise. 14,000 homes were lost. I think something like 27,000 people were displaced, uh, as well as a lot of our employees. So we had uh, quite a few our, of our employees evacuated, including myself and my daughter, and then uh, nearly 50 of them lost their homes uh, in the end. So huge impact on our community and our company. Okay, you've got an initiative going. You've got 1,400 breweries participating. Tell us about that initiative. So right when the fire started, we realized it'd be a, uh, a long rebuilding effort and we would need some funds to, to help the community. And so we came up with the idea of producing a beer called Resilience. And we reached out to the entire brewing industry from the suppliers to breweries across the country and asked if they would participate in brewing a batch of beer and sending those revenues to our nonprofit that we set up in Chico to help the campfire victims. And we had an incredible outpouring, uh, nearly 1,500 breweries now have signed up. And those breweries will be brewing a, a batch of beer and then selling it through their uh, pub or tap room um, and sending those proceeds to, to Chico. So a uh, huge effort and a big round of thanks for all those who have participated. Well, that is a big effort. What is your monetary goal? Because obviously the, the needs are overwhelming. Yeah, the needs are probably in the multiple billions. Um, so um, what we can do is, is going to be just a, a small part, but it's significant. So our hope is we can raise about $15 million for this effort with the beers that we've brewed and contributed to the fund, as well as all those participating breweries. Okay. Where the fire happened in California in general, are the people more conservation ecology conscious than the rest of us, or should they be? Well, you know, California has had years of drought, and, um, you know, we, we live in a pretty forested uh, part of the, 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 of the country, and so um, with the extreme weather we've been having, uh, the dryness, and we, we had significant winds that, uh, that day, um, the fire just uh, was not able to be controlled. So we live in a fire-prone area, but the, those situations are getting worse year after year with the prolonged drought we've been seeing. That is. So is there anything we should be doing? And, and I'm talking about across the nation because uh, you may be aware. I'm in Texas, and it's a beautiful state, but it has to be preserved. It has to be managed. So do you have any idea what we can do through fundraising efforts like this, maybe so much can go to planting a tree or, or uh, building a well or something, I don't know. Well, it, you know, the, the global weather change is happening, so it's a reality I think we're going to have to uh, face. And, you know, what we can do to, you know, help stabilize the environment, um, I think will we'll go a long ways to, to helping. But, you know, short term, there certainly are things that can be done to, you know, better manage our forests and to be able to, you know, help protect those communities that uh, butt right up into the forested areas. That brings me to my final question. So locally, how do we get involved? You know, I'm in Texas. How do I get involved here? You're in California. How do you get involved? How do you make a difference? 
Well, I mean, for this specific project, uh, go to your local brewery that's been part of the Resilience Project, and uh, you can go to our website, SierraNevada.com, and there's a list of all those participating breweries. Go there and, and buy a beer for a good cause, and if you don't drink beer, um, we've got a, a place on our website you can donate directly to the, the Campfire Relief Fund. I would remind you to know that Cam Grossman is the founder of the Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, and he's considered an industry pioneer in craft brewing. I want to thank you so much, Ken, for taking your time to talk about something that's so very important. It doesn't just affect California. It affects this planet. It affects this nation. So thank you. Thank you very much for having me on today. My pleasure.